Hello, you're watching Telecom TV at the SDN World Congress 2016 here in The Hague in the Netherlands. And I'm talking with Marcus Brunner, who is Head of Standardization at Swisscom. Marcus, welcome. Yeah, hello. Hello, good to meet you. Thanks for the chat. Here at the show has been a lot of emphasis on the approaching imminent commercialization of SDN and NFE. Um, before we get to that, I'd like to ask you this. Here at the event, you were giving a presentation in which you were calling for innovation. It sounds almost evangelical. What, were you, what, were you, what, what are you trying to achieve? Yes, so I mean, one of the problems we have is so we have this platform ready. Everybody talks about NFV infrastructure and things like that. We, sure. have, we have that stuff in place. And now we're sort of, yeah, what are we doing with it? to suit our customers better, one or the other way. Yeah. And we see a bit of a lack of now new services coming along, uh, new ideas, what, what to do, and, and, and so on. So we call it sort of the next generation telecom functions and services, or SDN NFE 2.0. We are seeking components in, in that space. And there, it's 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 really more about startupish type of ideas, not finalized products. So you you what you're doing is you're appealing to what small companies out there, startups or whatever it may be, to come along to you with an idea, to come along to Swisscom with an idea, and then what do you do? You vet it and test it and stretch it and see whether it's worth proceeding with. So it's a, a, a two-stage process. Yeah. It's people can apply with almost everything in the in, in the space. So we will have expert uh, panels to figure out what is sort of worth going into the next round, and we have a more a higher management uh, jury, including external experts in, in in the field, to make judgment on what would be a good good startup to work with and collaborate with, and so the the winning or one or two winning uh, uh, companies, they basically, uh, with those we go into a proof of concept and we go for a pub public announcement or joint dissemination in, 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 in public about it, either at the new show, next show or something, something like that. So that's the process we are, we are going through with. And what will be the end result for Swisscom and for your innovation partner? So the, the ideally the end result is naturally that the partner is able to get it really ready, market ready, the product really ready and, in, and is in our network. But we are naturally aware that this is not the case from the start. So if, if it's really worse and the business case is working and things like that, the use case is great, we foresee that we go on with that partner and sort of help also in a joint collaboration and a relatively open joint collaboration to mature it that we are able to bring it to, uh, to the market. So, in essence, the innovators that you're appealing to have carte blanche to, to come up with any idea allied to NFE, SDN services and so on, and you at Swisscom look at it and say, we like that one, it needs a bit more refinement, we don't like that one, and go from there. Exactly. So it's really the, right. the, the sort of most promising uh, one or two will, will, will go on. And by the way, it's not only Swisscom, we partnered with Proximus and Telia, who are joining right. that, that uh, activity together. They're like three mid-sized European telecom operators. We, we feel we need to do it a bit this way, and we join together forces in, in, in that sense. We don't have the capability to, to test all yeah. of the pr uh, possible things out there. Some big companies might be able to do that, we are not. Well, this, you know, strength in, in two or three companies, you have that much more scale to it, so best of luck with it. I take it it's a while away yet before you know the results. Yes, there's a while away. Um, the, so submission is until uh, 23rd of October, so it's very near. Yeah. Uh, then we go through the process and we expect to have the POC starting in January, February time frame, and we want to be do the POC relatively quick, sort of it's a two, three months time to set up the POC, and then we need to come to the next decision of the next steps out of that. So we are willing to go forward uh, uh, rather quick then Good. After, after that. Good. Well, what we've been hearing about and seeing this week 
and the emphasis seems very much to be on the imminent commercialization and operationalization of NFV services. Um, how do you think it's going? What's, what's Swisscom's take on it? What view do you have? Do you think it is it's on track and where it should be? Do you think it's, it's as, as the, the, the cycle of hype seems to have died down a lot. When the technology first arrived, it was very much, yes. you know, this is going to be great. It's, it's got to this stage of commercialization very, very quickly. Are operators ready for it, do you think? Service providers ready for it? And is the technology ready? Yeah, so we believe we are ready for it. So we have several projects ongoing, uh, some very near to production. Uh, so we already have fought quite a bit on the oper uh, uh, make it operational and things like that. We went through that. We learned as a company quite a bit. And I mean, message to everybody do, to going down the path, you just need to do it and try it. You will figure out where the problems are. Uh, that's also why we do now this call. So we are sort of going to the next stage on, yeah, it's sort of a bit of a done thing. So now we need to look into the next topics in that space. Right. And we are 100% believer in the way and the vision where that whole SDN NFV is, is going. So the vision is correct and as you said, and the, the products are there now and, and there are problems we will like everywhere. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I think we are on the wrong track. It's, the time was very short and I think it's pretty good outcome so far. I was really surprised how quick it sort of takes up. There's no, I think you cannot ignore it anymore. <laughs> sure. Now, you're head of standardization at Swisscom, and standardization has always been a, not a leisurely process, but a, a very controlled process, which takes time. And very often in the past, one of the complaints of consumers and enterprise has been that standardization doesn't keep pace with the, with the change of technology. It's lagging and so on. In regard to NFV, what you've been doing with NFV at Swisscom, what impact did the standards or lack of standards have on your work? So the, the, first of all, I mean, it's true that it goes a bit slow standards, but coming to an agreement takes its time. It does. No matter what, in every company, if you internally need to come to an agreement, it takes its time. So there is no, no change here. <laughs> um, so this, and for the company itself, um, I mean, standards are important at sort of at the beginning of a technology in the sense of having a discussion with our peers around what is needed, how should the architectures look like, uh, what are our requirements, where, we do, where do we see the technology going, things like that. So this discussion is needed at the very beginning, also help generating a bit of a hype around it. <laughs> and, and then later on, it's really about risk mitigation that you have like, Common, common standards and it helps implementing, it helps talking between people. In the NFV space, I mean, the, the most shown picture to me from every vendor was the NFV architecture slide. That very, was very good to talk about the topics and the issues around the uh, terminology and, and the setting of an architecture without going into detail. So that's uh, very helpful. Okay, so your job as head of standardization, has it changed? What, what I'm trying to get at is what impact, given the speed of uptake of NFE and the development of NFE and SDN, what kind of an impact did that have on Swisstel as an organization in terms of standardization? Did it make you jump and run? Were you able to cope with it or, was it, or did it get away from you? Is it under control? Uh, yeah, I, I don't think it's really under control. The bus is just too high. <laughs> so there's a lot of things which are tried. Yeah. Plus there came in the whole notion of open source, which is sort of a bit of the same mechanism. You need to also, if you build an open source project and the system, you need to agree 
And everybody thinks, oh yeah, they are much quicker, but if it comes down to having several stakeholders who need to agree, it takes its time as well. On the other hand, you can see an open source system like a standard or de facto standard already. So is this sort of the NFV as a technology plus the change in the industry towards more open source software and probably in the future also hardware, plus the request for more agility in the companies and the transformations in the company. It's sort of three directions which sort of come together at once. And yes, I think everybody in the industry is struggling a bit with it. Mm. Uh, we have a very good chance since we are already an IT company for quite some time, so we have a bit of a head start in the software area and we know how to operate IT for quite some time, so it's not that big of a deal, but still, yes, it's, it's a lot of discussion, a lot of confusion and so on. Very interesting to get a different slant on what's going on, because very you don't often speak to, I don't very often speak to standardization executives. Fascinating stuff. Marcus Brunner, thank you. Yeah, welcome, thank you.